this. Shift those colors. Basically, I'm probably gonna stream for an hour. Uh, maybe a little bit more. It really it rolls. Now, pick. So. shades and thing skinned how get away with and um so that in mind, do is we take into account character and figure out exactly in tone. So much so that you get everything just like. Check my thing. Okay, so it is working. Things are just oddly quiet. A little weird. Okay, so I think I've I've figured the figured out the audio. Um if I keep cutting out, uh feel free to just let me know. And uh we'll from here. All right. Okay, so let's go ahead and just jump right in and focus on skin. Um we're just going to use this Sort of as our, it's kind of like our, uh, our test uh, for everything that's about to come, um, because I've done uh, the the majority of the characters covered, um, but personally, I'm really interested to see what I can do uh, with these blues and these purples, um, maybe even shifting up to teal a bit. Which is, which could be, you know, pretty risque or whatever. Alright, so. 
that's about it. The skin. Boom. Done. Amazing. Miracles do happen. Um, so, we are going to, I'm, I'm going to do some stuff that I normally just don't do uh, in this stream, just to see where things go. Uh, for example, I normally I normally color everything first, and then use uh, masking uh, layer masks to uh, to uh, basically pick that I somewhere uh, to basically pick um, pick which. Uh, uh, I forgot what I was talking about. I got so thrown off about the lack of brush. The grief. Um, yeah. Anyway, okay. So basically, uh, normally what I do is I go through, I color everything, right? Then we go in and we do some basic shading. And then after we do the basic shading with um, like a multiply layer or something like that, then we go in with a bunch of other effect layers to kind of help push everything. What I'm going to do is I'm not going to use a multiply layer for this one at all, and we're going to see how that how that goes. Uh, so we're going to we're also going to be using some brushes I don't normally use. Um, like this is a uh, a really fun brush um, that gets some some nice soft textures whenever you do it right, uh, but it's not something that I use terribly often. So, keeping in mind what we want to do for lighting, uh, we just basically want to come in, swing in, and see what we can do because really I'm not too concerned about. Um, about things uh, going to awry because that's that's sort of the doing that right the the whole point is to try and basically get things uh, get get to do things a little differently uh, get out and sort of try and push ourselves into a little bit, uh, a, a little bit further out of the comfort zone, uh, at least for myself. Uh, that usually involves using things like multiply layers and um, lots of effects to kind of push what my uh, my actual is, uh, what actual like color desire is. Gonna switch over to a soft brush just to that takes us. Lighten that up a little bit for now. Ourselves. Two. So we can fill in everything that I have colored. Obviously, we're going to be doing a, a painting layer over, but for now, at least, we're going to be starting uh, relatively. Relatively simply, just coloring in the line. Picked and color pick away. Make sure we get that skin again. Okay, 
So, uh, another thing I've done is I've gone ahead and I've removed my sort of swatch window. Well, I didn't remove it. It's right here, but I'm not going to be using it for anything. I'm going to just be using the painter's wheel uh, to try and force myself into, uh, or out of my, out of my comfort zone when it comes to color and, uh, how I sort of select things. I've noticed that, uh, I specifically tend to, uh, a little too heavily some uh, same colors. So, to get out and give these other things a try, and already I'm really enjoying it. Uh, it's it, obviously it's going to be a work in progress for quite a while, but for all it's uh, it's going to be a great choice. All right, so yeah. Things are are naturally much uh, much brighter on my screen. So if, if you see me pause, that's usually because I'm looking up at the monitor I actually have the stream coming from to uh, kind of get an idea of what the heck uh, this thing actually looks like, uh, which admittedly uh, is not the best way to do. Uh, art, especially whenever you're focusing on color like we are today. But at the same time, not a whole lot we can do about it. Also, there's plenty of ways to adjust color to get it more uh, more like what I normally have it. Uh, more like what I see it, anyway. So, okay. Skin B. We're just going to let that be. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to move on to... Um, uh, let's go ahead and do the mask. So the mask here uh, is supposed to be sort of like this deep Auburn shade. But what we want to avoid is we want to avoid using uh, colors that are just way too dark, especially if they're overpowering the line work. Now, my line work, much like everything in this piece, uh, was done a little differently. I normally operate uh, using a sort of like a, a reddish-brown tint, but this one I shifted to because I figured the majority of what we're going to be working with is going to be in blue, and it just seemed like a smart idea. So whenever we have things like this mask that are in red, it's pretty convenient because they are now separate colors. So I can actually make this mask a little bit darker. I probably will whenever we're actually putting in the shades and everything like that. But it, uh, it the way the way it starts is is much easier basically figure out your values and everything like that. So, just like last time, we're going to go ahead and lock the uh, lock the colored in part. There's a appropriate term for whatever uh, the heck that is. I don't actually remember uh, what it's called because I'm not good at this. So, alright. But anyway, so now what we're going to do is we're going to look at our painter's wheel. Alright, and that's this thing up here. And basically we have the base color. And now what we want to do is we want to add highlights, but we also want to add shading. So, the way that most people think about it, or the way that, you know, the non-super artistically inclined person thinks about it, is whenever you want to add, uh, whenever you want to add light, you come up. Whenever you want to add shadow, you come down. Right? That's kind of correct. But, that's not how we're doing it today. Today we're going to do things a little bit weird and a little bit different. So, we'll going to be doing is we're going to be doing this thing called hue shifting. So um, if we look here on our painter's wheel, uh, this has actually provided us a fair bit of uh, of insight as to um, 
what our shades are going to be, especially in keeping with the theme of these purples and these blues, right? So right now we've got this sort of like purplish, reddish, I don't know. I'm sure there's an actual color for it. Um, but we, we've got this sort of in-between frame. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with shading first because I usually like to work from dark to light rather than light to dark. And what we're going to do is we're going to shift a little more toward pink, right? It's down, but we're going to pull it down and over some. Okay. I'm going to grab that textured brush. Dude, this one. Then we're just going to and and we're going to basically just yeah, see, now we're we're just gonna and we're gonna do okay, make sure that it's what we want. seems like what I want. So now do it just like we normally would with uh, with shadows, right? We're just going to compile them into the areas that uh, we think they belong. Uh, we're not going to spend too much time worrying about specifics. This is mostly just blocking things in, right? So, we're not going to spend a whole lot of time. But we do, we do want to make sure that the nose is at least prominent enough, right? So now that we've got that done, what we're going to do is we're going to click our original color. Dude, simple. Now we're going to shift the other way for our highlight. So a little bit more towards red. We're going to go up and out, right? Shift it just a little bit more. So I really want to get this red. Okay. Now there's much less... There's much less light. I'll put the brush there. Uh, in this particular section. Mm, you know, I'm not particularly happy that it doesn't it doesn't really play right. That's better. I pushed it just a little bit too hard. But you know what? That's okay because, like I said, we are here to learn. So that's what we're just gonna. And we're just gonna screw with it a little bit, just little by little. And uh, get some decent color out of this. Then nothing too fancy, nothing too crazy. Uh yeah, I'll I'll count that. I'll say that's that's pretty good. Yeah, sure. All right, so uh, really dark at other screens, so which is a shame because it looks really good on my screen. So let me see if we can see if we can uh, rectify that before. Um, go ahead and hit up a an exposure layer. Up right there, right and. Up the exposure a shitload. See if that helps on screen or on the common person screen. That's that's not too bad. It's uh actually you know what actually I really like that. Um so let's go ahead and let's keep that and we'll use that a bit uh going forward. And we'll just nuke it just a little bit more. Get a quick before, after, right? And I'm just gonna create another layer above it to uh, to to work off of, right? Now probably what's gonna happen is I'm probably going to uh, paint things too dark on these next couple of layers, and we're just going to move this exposure layer up towards uh towards the end of our initial paint process. But that's okay, you know. Um, honestly, I, I usually have to do color tweaking like this a lot, just given my, uh, given my own habits and the, uh, the limitations of the screen that I work off of. Uh, and that's okay. That's, that's not that big of a deal. Okay. So anyway, um, now let's go ahead and let's do the hair. So the hair is going to be a little tricky because the hair 
uh, this character has black hair, right? So because they have black hair, uh, most people think, well, we should, you know, obviously shift it to black, uh, which we want to shift it to a darker hue. We don't actually want to shift it black. So what I want to do is I want to shift it down to blue, right? So we're going to shift it over to blue here. Maybe even, yeah, let's shift it there. So that way, now we have a very clearly defined which side is light and which side is dark, right? So now what we're going to do is we're just going to paint it in, color in lines, like, like we're toddlers. And uh, once we have this handled, we can go ahead and move forward. And we'll uh, we'll do the same thing. We're going to do a color shift. But I'm actually really interested and excited to do the hair uh, because the hair is really dark. And as you can see, it's actually darker than uh, the the lines, the, uh, the lines that I put down, uh, which is totally fine, totally fair. Uh, all that means is that uh, we're going to... The, the majority of these lines are going to be going away anyway. They're very rough, sketchy lines. And uh, they're not actually meant uh, to be anything markers for me. Um, and this is normally I would probably clean things up a little bit, even uh, especially if I was supposed to send something off to a client. Uh, but since this is a piece that I wanted to do specifically for this live stream, uh, we are. It's I'm I'm not really beholden to anyone, so I can be as dirty and, a, and as messy as I want to. And uh, that's pretty hype. Just gonna stuff in, which is no big deal. Yeah, you know, it's a little slow, but uh, is what it is. Yeah, I actually really like this hair color. You can't really see it on uh, on most screens, which is unfortunate, because I think this is shaping out to be quite beautiful. I don't know why I was so delicate with uh, with my edging. I know full well that this is choosing things based off of the order they uh, that they appear as in uh, the layers, so I really shouldn't be so delicate these because these are gonna like I can make I can make quick squiggly lines spots that aren't colored because the layers come later. Real simple. Yeah. So um Unfortunately, I don't have a whole lot of things to talk about on screen while I'm coloring this, um, because I have this horrendously archaic way of coloring, um, in that I don't use fills or anything like that, just because I don't even really know why. I don't really have a, have a good reason to why I don't. Mostly just that this is what is comfortable for the process, and I am actively subverting a lot of things in my process uh, right now, given what we're working on. It's color stuff. Color fills. I don't want it. Yeah, it's gross. There we go. Yeah, all right. So we'll probably end up doing a few tricks just to really help colors pop. Um, but the, the main goal of this is to kind of push my own understanding of light and dark uh, and hue, color hue to, to sort of be able to, um, to look at things in a different light and kind of get get some more interesting color in my stuff, because 
a lot of the times, unfortunately, some of my stuff gets a little too mundane, a little too um, for my taste, which is is unfortunate. Um, and so I would really rather be able to do uh, just because I've been so neat on this before. Not to come. I'm just gonna go ahead and continue to be neat. That way we can do the tabard under it. Um, yeah, so we're, uh, I, I would like to continue to increase the, uh, variety of ways that I do things. I'd like to, uh, continue to mix things up as much as possible. To, to, to advance my style, because my core style, well that, well the processes in that might not change. It could change. I could learn something from, uh, doing one of these processes that I never would have thought of in the first place. And it could be a super huge deal for me. Um, okay, cool. So, all right, same thing. We're just going to lock Thingamaduzzi. But now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, take, our, take our soft brush here. We don't want to use our texture brush on this. We want to use our soft brush, uh, at least to start. We're going to use textures later. Um, but now what we're going to do is we want a huge shift boom, all the way over to purple. Down a little bit more. And now we're just going to block out some of where colors shadows are going to be. Back a bit once we're done. You know, I feel like maybe I should start using darker lines. It's it's not even that like my lines normally stay. I normally don't even keep the majority of them. Um, by the time a piece is done, I usually, once we get to the actual painting process, uh, most of them are gone, you know? But at the same time, uh, we're in situations like this, just really don't like a enough looks. Just, I'm not a fan, uh, particularly of, of anything going on. Like, uh, if if you know, some people like it. Some people are into the whole lighter line work thing. Me, really. I'm a little traditional. I like my lines dark. Ever like darker than. Things. I don't like true black. I can use true black in a painting in years, which is good. You know, I mean, there are, there's a time and a place for everything, but uh, not a whole lot of places for that level of darkness when it comes to shading. Just because you can't really go anywhere from there, right? Like, what do you do? Do you just... There, there's no like extra black. You don't get double black, right? Once you've once you've hit that, which is you know the darkest color, then you're kind of sol. Uh, okay, cool. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna shift up, and these are gonna be for the highlights. We're just gonna go. Just gonna. <laughs> All right. So now this is where shit really go crazy. I don't know if this is gonna work. We're gonna try it. So this is a true adventure. This is the true test testament of my understanding of this color shifting, hue shifting thing. I'm a what's it? Uh, yeah, this is uh, eh, and not. I should have just stayed in my cave. Okay. Okay. Sure, things might be gross for a little while, you know? That's, that's okay, like... Again, half the, uh, half the point to go outside or come. You know, honestly, if this, uh, like, I'm, I'm fairly confident that even if I, uh, even if I don't get exactly what out of doing this color shifting thing this time, uh, I'm still confident that I will. I could probably manage to get something that I can 
uh, at least show uh, to like my mom. So, I mean, really, at the end of the day, that's, that's all that matters, right? Is you want you want good art, you can show to your mom. So, all right. So let's take this here and drop it under. All right. Let's see how that um how that you uh that exposure does how that how that helps it. And I like that. I think. Yeah, so I think that's what we're going to do. I think from now on we're just going to go in and do the thing and then yeah. All right. Screw it. So. Okay, more colors. Um what is next? So <sighs> I don't think I'm ready to tackle the shoulders yet. So let's go ahead and do uh Let's do the tabard, which is supposed to be kind of like this saturated pinky purple helio. Yeah, somewhere out there, I'm sure. I actually want this under. So we're just going to bring it down there. Okay. And make sure our brush is right. Yep, and uh, I'm not too worried about messy parts, right? Like these, um, these gross little things, like around where the bandana is. Um, mostly because we're going to be uh, gonna put this in the layer order above those things. Actually, probably not. think about it because I just went messy over them anyway. So. fix the actual painting phase I think. one ass pink eight pink tabard I'm gonna do actually I'm tearing away pull up this character craft arm searching for Character is not found. Uh, okay. Screw me, I guess. It's because they're, I mean, they are new. A few days old, so. It's fine. All right, that's fine. So what we're going to do, I'm just going uh, to hit. Just going to do some live stuff. I know you can't see this because it's happening on my main uh, PC where I'm actually uh, doing my art on my tablet. Hey, ooh, hey, hey. Guess I can't do that. You know what? Oh, that's fine. Leave that there for now. Okay. Back to our adventures and our painting. So, now that I've got actual thing up, realizing there's a little bit in this, uh, in this outfit, then I, which is okay. We can we can work with it? We can make that work. Uh, that's just gonna be okay. Do this and then okay. Okay. All right. Let's lock this layer. I think I want to adjust. Color a little bit. I don't. Uh, 
not necessarily a huge fan. Thinking a little more. Cool. Probably. Yeah, I'm thinking. I'm thinking like a darker, or at least a deeper, fish pink, kind of like that. Thing just, just obnoxious. Uh, this this race is kind of obnoxious. Uh, it's okay. Saturate. Yeah, that'll work. All right, cool. So now that we have that, what we can do is we can start working on our shades. So this is actually, I'm actually really excited about this one um, because it's such a big open thing that I'm going to be able to uh, do a lot of hue shifting. Uh, so actually what I want to do this time around, shift up, lighter colors. And then go down darker stuff. First thing we're just gonna do a simple gradient like that. Just along the top and give it a little bit of texture. Uh, down here. More towards down a bit. A bit more. Just, just gonna block this stuff in. Messy light. Okay, to Once we have it blocked in, start doing some really, really minor. I think this will work. Just gonna come in here. Should be. Is. Okay. Texture brush time. It's just gonna. Should be. I could have sworn. Yeah. This. Something nice and nice and blurry, but be able to chunk when I need it to, you know. Okay, so now what we're do is we're just gonna just carving out the shadows. here. Now, uh, I've been told one of the cool things about using hue shifting, uh, like what we're supposedly doing here, uh, is that it's a lot easier to get darks, um, it, to get uh, things to appear darker than they actually are, uh, just based off of what is around. That look on your screen. That looks. Oh man, that looks gross. All right, well, just gonna let that exist. Yep, we're just gonna we're just gonna let this thing exist in this world, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna claim no responsibility for it. Not you, not me, not nobody. Back over here. 
do is we're going to do the trim. And arguably uh, the best response just on there. Do that. That's a dumb idea. And it defeats the whole purpose, doesn't it? Feel much more confident doing it. There's really no reason to just jump in feet first uh everything. Like I forgot to finish pattern. It's fine. Admittedly, like this is this thing is, is lacking a whole lot of detail. Um, because I want to paint it in, because I want it to, uh, I want to work on being more painterly, being more focused on getting, uh, getting the detail in whenever the colors come in, the actual painting work starts, rather than, uh, Focusing on every little detail. Oh, well, line work is a good guide. Uh, it doesn't necessarily always work out that way. Okay, so pretty happy with uh, with how this is looking color wise. So what we're gonna do actually now is I turn this down a bit. Go ahead and turn it back up, just because I'm curious to see how our character is looking. Uh, closer to the actual hue of this background, and I'm really liking how it pops. So that's good. That is a plus. So we're gonna that all the way back up to the top. Um, really get some color in there. Um, okay, cool. So now we're gonna go back up to this upper folder, and now we've got uh, some interesting stuff that's about to happen because these shoulders um, have a lot of red in them. Which is fine because we're actually we're using things that are relatively close to red anyway. But what I want to to um make sure that these saturated reds are in care of uh, appropriately. So uh, I think we're just going to start with the underlayers. Right, which are, you know, just simple darks. I'm gonna desaturate, and then we are going to probably gonna have to do these. Do uh, do do. Good at them apparently. Um, we'll probably have to uh, do some fills a few times over to make sure that sure that things are looking how they're supposed to. Because I can already tell you that I this in particular is going to be dark. Which is fine. It can work this. So Based off of the model that uh, that basis on, a lot of this stuff is connected. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. We're just gonna go ahead, and uh, now that we've got the darks or at least the the sections that should be dark filled in, nice and messy. Go ahead and hit that paintbrush or. Filler tool. Yeah, and I think that'll do a lot better. Um, and, the and then we're going to leave this be for now because it's the underlayer. 
Uh, and the underlayer, I'm not as concerned about getting everything like super shifted and everything like that because a lot of its uh, a lot of its depth is going to be coming from these axes, which are actually kind of golden. Um, oh boy, colors that are different from what we've got going on with our, our color scheme. Whatever shall we do? Uh, well, buckle up, Buttercup, because we're gonna we're gonna figure that out together. Just gonna come in, hit this gold, and honestly, I may change it to where it's not actually a gold. Could be uh, might wind up being a little more. For all I know, Who knows a bit of a wild card find out. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Cross that bridge together. Probably. Say together. Assume there's someone in this chat. Could not be. That's fine. Frankly, I, I'd be talking to myself anyway, so. There is concern. Together. If anyone has any questions, though, if anyone is actually here and has questions. Uh, this or anything else that is directly art related uh, by all means uh, speak up I'm happy to hear you out I'm happy to hear any questions uh, maybe shed some light on some stuff uh, if I can not exactly a goo this will check you but hey like to talk. It's really that's really what matters. I like to hear myself talk. <sighs> okay, so these color fills. What are we doing? Why are we doing them? Um, basically, what we're doing right now is we're just putting in accenting, and we're not really caring all that much about. Um, about how clean it is, about what it actually looked like. Uh, the goal mostly is just get these colors in the places they need to go, so we can hurry up and get to rendering. Right? Because rendering, their uh, shit gets cray, and uh, that's where the cool kids want to hang out. And frankly, that's where I want to be. I want to be in rendering. It's it's you know it's my it's my happy place and I can render painting for hours. Not that, you know, you should sometimes. Sometimes there is such a thing as over-rendering. Excuse me. Locked. Apparently you can't erase when everything is locked. It's cool. That, that, learning stuff. All of us together. As an Ohana. Right. So um. Oh. So, um. If anyone has any questions, that'd be cool. Because otherwise, I think probably what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start talking about the lore of this base from a video game, because that's what this character is from. This character is from a video game. Um, they are uh, they are a race called the Nightborn, um, and basically they're elves, uh, as indicated by the pointy ears and the sassy face. Um, but they are uh, elves that were trapped in like a bubble city. Uh, if you've ever seen, Jesus. Holly Shore. Um, dome? Dome? Biodome. There we go. Boom. Have you ever seen Biodome? These elves are basically uh, Polly Shore. So, you know, that's cool, right? Everybody likes Polly Shore. Uh, so they're hanging out with Polly Shore and a sidekick, whoever that was, not important. Um, and essentially, they, they lock themselves off because the. Uh, sort of like a fallout shelter uh, scenario 
because a whole bunch of years ago, uh, I want to say like uh, five, yeah, about like five years ago, um, there was a big scary war with a bunch of demons, uh, and those those demons um, were real good at fighting stuff, and uh, apparently these elves are not, so uh, they instead just like, well, screw it, we'll just make a biodome, and uh, you guys can't come in. So they did that. They put themselves in a little bubble, and they, they hung out there for, you know, however long. For like five years. Um, and uh, after after that, after that was done, uh, right, uh, the demons came back, uh, which kind of sucked for just about everybody, let's be honest. Uh, nobody really uh, likes the demons. I mean, except for, like, the warlocks, but those guys are weird. We do a lot of hand-waving for the warlocks, really. I mean, look, I'm all for... I'm all for equality. Um, but whenever you have to make pacts with demons, uh, and we are currently fighting demons, uh, it's pretty reasonable to question uh, people's alliances, I think. Right? Like, I, I think that's fair. Um, oh, hey, look at that. I just... My reference again, and it turns out there's a... a little more depth in, uh, in some of this stuff than I thought. So we're going to have to go in and, and, uh, and fix some things. Mistakes. Because, oh, are there so many mistakes. So at the very least, I'm really enjoying all the color. You know, color's cool. I also really hope that my uh, my voice is coming. Okay, this is the only thing more rambling is not being able to actually comprehend what I'm saying. Not just because I'm such an intellectual genius, but because my audio is cutting out. That would be pretty, pretty shitty. But whatever. But if it's a problem, we'll solve it together. Assuming someone tells me. And if it's not a problem, there's nothing to solve. And we can just keep uh, painting in these freaking bird shoulder pads, dude. Like, bird shoulder pads. Just for reasons. They were just like, you know what? Look. Um, we have a whole lot of time on our hands, uh, and a whole lot of, uh, a whole lot of resources, so let's, let's make, make golden shoulder pads, uh, right, with birds on them, that also smoke. Uh, now, I'm not gonna do the smoke effect, mostly because I feel like, I don't know, it's just a bit much, um, a character piece. Uh, at least uh, for the for this character, right? Like this character's supposed to be all about subtlety, subterfuge, and poisons. A whole lot of poisons. We're gonna get into that a little bit later. But if they've got like smoking shoulders, I, I think that kind of defeats uh, defeats the the sense of uh, be a sneaky sneak. Okay, cool. So, back to that thing that, that I realized that this part also colored in base tone. Dude's just gonna do do. Ah, boom. Here. The, uh... Misty... Sir Brooch. Here we go. And again, we're not, uh, we're not trying to be super accurate. I'm trying to be clean. This isn't clean. This is 
is really gross and dirty. Um, and <clears throat> it actively hurts me uh, to work in such a state, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it because of you guys. And I don't know, because I thought it'd be interesting to, you know, watch me suffer um, on stream trying to trying to unravel the mysteries of this, this friggin' thing I'm going to watch it. So, hold on one second, I need to... Okay, so... <clears throat> Um, I love gold. The color. It's like one of my favorite things to paint. Um, and we've got a whole lot of gold right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this as an opportunity. Really, really, really test out. Test out, uh, test out how some of... Uh, There we go. Okay, we'll use this. Um, how I really, I really want to test out how far I can push gold. Right. So we've got our base color here. We're gonna start with our darks. Darks. We're gonna shift more towards red. Shift down. Right. It's gonna come. Okay. I actually really like that. Uh, also, we're trying to keep with like an overhead sort of painting thing. Uh, I don't know if that's gonna that's gonna persist for everything get to the rent phase. I might decide I want I want to do something different. Interesting. Now at least I know I I I think it'll probably I think I think we'll all enjoy some overhead lighting because honestly it's really extreme and you don't see it a lot in real life, so whenever you see it in a piece, the freaking... Uh, it, it tends to really stick out. So... Do is we're gonna... Move the texture brush a little bit. Now, softy, softy, from the camera, it's away from the camera, and it'll be a little dark. Do you have any question? I don't know, I'm guessing. Here. Alright, cool, so, now, my favorite part, Shift towards yellow. Up. Right, that looks really unsaturated. So let's see how that uh, translates. Uh, see if that leads into anything cool. Yeah, I mean this is this be all right. Good. Concerned. That's acceptable. Again, we're gonna we're gonna be pushing these colors even more. The uh, phase, and especially that final phase. Um, we start adding in a lot of effects stuff. So again, this is these are mostly just markers for me. Remember. Hey, idiot. Forget that. This is things. Yeah, I I do like uh, favorite things about metal is how mostly darkest shades and shades uh, can get to, to one another, right? Yeah, that'll work. Uh, but yeah, no, I really, I just, I really like that. I think it's really interesting. I think it makes for a great piece. 
um, whenever you can just bash colors into one, you know? Ah, I had to get a little tasty beverage because talking to yourself for ever is really rough on the Okay. Alright, that looks alright. Um, this thing has, like, a shiny eye. So let's go ahead and work on a shiny eye. Do you have anything planned for these? Let's make... That, boom. It's gonna lock color it softer bow bow do it again bow bow all right cool call that uh call that good okay so now we still got a few things that need to be colored in here. Still got the undercoat. Still got this high collar right here, right? Um, and then we've got the belt, which is blank, but it's going to be covered in pouches. Um, a lot of things are going to be covered in pouches. It's going to be big. Uh, it's the next big fashion wave um, in uh, in Azeroth. Yeah, that's it, Azeroth. Pouches, huge, a huge, huge pouches. Um, okay, so, geez, what do I want next? Do I want to do the cloth? Um, yeah, let's do the cloth. Okay, cool. So here's what we're gonna. Do. I wanna, I wanna do the cloth. Cloth is gonna be, red, but here's the catch. I wanna do this cloth as the same color as the collar, right? Sort of uh, create a little bit of a uniform thing. So we're going to come, we're going to shift. We still want it to be in red. Saturated. There we go. We're going we're gonna to start there. Slightly different color. Feel slightly better about it. Start there. Probably much like, uh, much like all colors. Something. Yeah, so this cloth actually wraps around. Interesting. I think it's an interesting touch. Uh, one that I actually never noticed until I put up in a this, this shoulder pad up in a uh, that this was actually cloth. Uh, I kind of assumed it. Um, this, uh, this part right here was just part of protection. Considered that, oh, hey, this is something that somebody wrapped around their crazy, fancy-ass bird face pauldrons for whatever reason. I don't know. I don't work. But they got some cool ideas. If it's if it starts lagging out, somebody say something, <laughs> or you know, type something. Uh, that'd be just appreciated. All right, so I actually really like the way this red is coming out on the screen. So this exposure, but that doesn't mean I have to be extra careful. Yeah, so if you're uh if you're uh noticing there's really not a whole lot of detail in this piece. Um and as I've said a couple of times before, just to reiterate for anybody who's just now showing up. 
that is because I want to uh, do most of the detail in painting. So I'm going to do a couple of pouches. I'm going to do uh, some vials and some other things. Try real, real hard to make this character uh, look interesting, uh, vaguely intimidating. Not like really intimidating, because a scrawny little elf. It's not a not a whole lot of fear here. That's let's let's be honest. Yeah. Okay. Like that. About that life. Yeah. All right. Cool. Um. So let's go ahead and do some some shading on that. Yeah. Do 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 do. That's fine. So now let's go ahead and shift up a little bit. Start. I uh, actually want to start. Tablet not. Sure. I'm for a top down kind. Of about it for the lighting. Um, shift down. Uh, but yeah, the color shifting thing is, is really interesting. Like, or the hue shifting. Be interesting. I think it uh, definitely. It, it definitely could be something that I much more often. Uh, if I put the time. gonna actually just value get too over the top with it yeah so yeah that kind of that kind of orangey orangey orange do a little stretch it okay all right cool so we've got Got that stuff. All right. So, out of curiosity, let's go ahead. And just take this. See how it looks. Ooh, that's real bright. Ooh, no, 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 no. Not uh, not in my house. Um, but I do do uh some of this stuff. Do it. So what I'm gonna actually is I'm gonna. Exclusively. Just gonna or the brightness is soon. All right, cool. We did it. Okay, cool. I got what I wanted. Everybody's happy. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So we've got. Uh, the basics, everything's coming along. All right, now what we want to do is we want to make a new layer, and uh, some of this, this is uh, shift blue, because again, can't forget uh, that 
this was our original original color scheme was, which is staying away from green, uh, yellows. Which is no biggie. I'm not too concerned. I'm not too. Yeah. Okay. Same thing, real quick. Bada bing, bada bing. Shift down to blue. To purple. Go with the Soft. I have this uh I have this bad habit of not pushing darks in my life. I'm just gonna do that better kind of give depth what we're okay uh that'll do uh what are we got the belts let's go ahead and do this a little go ahead and do the all right i'm just gonna gonna go real that uh Shift a little red. Yeah, there we go. So I believe this part the front is supposed to be just a cloth. So we'll care of Shortly, mostly just by a simple color. Uh, it's because we've got, we've got a lot of colors going on. Okay. Uh, fortunately, they are, most of them are each other. It's, I don't think. Too terrible. So, I uh, could finish this thing. Be like, well, that's that's pretty god awful. Uh, right. So, I th there. Let's do. Shifting and shading. Easy. Okay, looking at our guy so far, he's really colorful, and that's good. You know, that was that was kind of the point of of this exercise is to make things as bright and as colorful, or at least as visually interesting with color as possible. Um, it's gonna take a real dark color, and. Belt, same color for the padding of outer arm. sleeve. That might... 
means then we're going to start to do some tweaking, which is really interesting to watch. It's focusing on color tweaking. Doing some basic value uh, value shifting. You know, just trying to make sure that everything's out. It get that I'm getting the the colors and the depth. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit of uh, monotony, the blending and such, but that's okay. Also, what we want to do, if I have it, really that important. Uh, working on the character, uh, at least when I'm coloring and stuff, is want to do, you know, flip the canvas. See, see what we think about the character. And so far, I'm still on board. Still fine. Still looks really obnoxious. <laughs> um, love it. Alright, uh, cool. So let's go ahead and... Now, what I want to do for this one, actually, is I want to shift exclusively to light. Um, because I want... Try... And... See if I can see, see, you know, just experimenting, seeing if I can work. Um, from shadow to uh, shadow to light, eh, it seems like I can, like I can get uh, at least something kind of interesting out, which is good. Days out, just dark. Days out, just light. Yeah, and that'll do me. All right, cool. So this is um, this is where we're at. Um, yeah, I'd like to uh, let's let's check the time. See how see how we've been doing. Doing pretty good. A little over an hour. Uh, I think I got about an hour in me. Uh, another hour left in me, just because, you know, we're about to get into uh, the really interesting stuff, and really all you've watched me do is basically just do a coloring book. So, you guys are interested in continuing. Um, go ahead and give me, uh, let's say, five minutes, uh, just so I can stretch my legs, uh, and then we will uh, get back. It's goodness. Just gonna that real quick, so just right. There we go, that looks that looks good. Yeah. Alright. I'll be right back. And then we will get into some, uh, some, some fun shading and rendering. All right, be right back.
Okay. And we are back. And by the I mean me. But you also left. In which case, welcome. Oh, fucking. Video on. Let's uh, get rid of that. I think I want to. <sighs> fucking tired ass voice. Okay. So. I guess. Bed for the kids. Um, alright, so, um, uh, what were we doing? Where are we at? What are we looking at so far? Right now, what we're looking at is we got a whole bunch of colors. Real bright, real colorful, real silly, real kid-friendly. Um, not a whole lot of detail. So what we want to do is we want to take this thing, basically we're going to start refining it. Um, uh, we're going to start turning it into something. Um, not just more manageable, but, uh, Just um, not just more manageable, so fitting fitting to the tone. That I want for the piece. So uh, all right, how are we gonna do that? Real simple. Glad you asked, Janet. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to... First of all, we're going to save our work. I haven't done that, like, this whole time. And if my tablet would have crashed, like, man, can we just talk about... Let, you know what? No, let's not talk about it. Let's not Let's not jinx ourselves. So, what we're going to do... First of all, is I'm going to come over here and get rid of the swatch that I used, like, ever. Um... <laughs> I don't know why I, I even bother going to use it. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to come over, we're going to at lovely, uh, lovely specific, uh, special kind of layer. And, uh, first thing I want to do is I want to come at this with a huge saturation layer. Now, a huge saturation layer for specific reasons, because it darkens things, right, because you, uh, Pull out the lightness, I guess. That's what the slider's called. I don't know. Colorize. Whoa! Whoa, we found a new toy! <laughs> uh, clicking buttons. Learning. And stuff. Huh. Alright. Anyway, we're not gonna... I'll, I'll, I'll toy with that. That's, that's actually really interesting, so I'll toy with that later. Um, okay, cool. So now what we're going to do is basically just going to cut away at these shadows like I normally do. Um, we are going to keep it real loose, real simple. Uh, and we just, but basically we just want to push the shadows that, uh, uh, push some of these shadows just a little bit. So giving it just a bit more to the highlights. Okay? Because when your darks appear darker, your lights appear lighter. It's just goes hand in hand. That's how it works. I don't make the rules. I mean, I do in this instance because it's extreme. I do what I want. So, you know. But, it's, that's, not, that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about whatever this is what we're doing. I don't know. I don't have a plan. I just I just wanted to draw pictures and I needed a freaking thing to put on my uh my Patreon. I everybody likes streams, so here we are, we're doing with the stream and now you get to listen to freaking gibber. A madman for how long. Oh uh, yeah, it's so dark it's spoop. I love it. How dark it's spoop that. And now we're just gonna basically just hitting lights first, right, to make sure that they stay lit. Last thing I get these. Now I mean, admittedly, even if I do forget it, I'll just I would just go back and fix it, right? Like that's not that big. 
But, you know, if if we can avoid it, then let's just can avoid it, right? So this also gives us a great opportunity to provide a little more depth with these colors. The the shading and everything. While I may not have uh, bothered too terribly much with it um, in the initial pass over, I'm still not going to be too too crucial. Is this one? Yeah, this is I like this one. It's a good texture brush from Concept Cookie. They make good things, good tools for artists, old artists. Excellent, excellent stuff made by the guys over here. Um, Alright, but yeah, so anyway, what we're just giving, uh, we're, we're helping to push this illusion depth, right? Like, that's our big goal. To drop. Oh, hello. Talk about art. I mean, I'm talking about art. Nobody else is saying anything. But uh, thank you for stopping by. We're just, you know, we're, uh, we're working on this really, really colorful elf that I just, uh, it's just so colorful. Oh, I honestly, I don't know how I feel about this piece. I will probably look at this as 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 an experiment and acknowledge that occurred, um, but probably never want to again. Uh, and just focus on improving on the method of hue shifting uh, to getting things that I want. Um, uh, to getting to getting closer to things that I actually want. So. It's just I do there are there are some parts to this though that I do really like. I just I don't know maybe I just picked the wrong subject matter. Maybe I picked the right subject matter, you know, maybe because I want it so dark and uh and instead I'm forced to, to make it so bright. That maybe that'll inspire the right kind of what kind of motivation, Adam? Who knows? It's def definitely not me. I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's good. I think we're... That's, that's the first, first step, right? So now we've got a little bit of depth. We've got it before, after, after. So you kind of... Just down a little bit anyway. Drops down to about 74%. Um, just because it's just a little dark, right? Because we don't want to lose stuff. Now, but it, what are we going to do next? How are we going to fuck this up next, Farachi, you ask? Well, this is how. Uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to take this overlay layer. Right? Come over here. Slap white and now what does an overlay layer do uh, an overlay layer uh, basically makes all of our dreams basically what it does it's going to lighten shit things right so um we've gotta we've gotta use it sparingly we don't wanna we don't wanna be too obnoxious uh, also we want to make sure that we have our clipping mask in place right but this is basically is just pushing now, just like with the uh, the la uh, the the hue and saturation layer, pushing our darks. This is basically us pushing our right, uh, which is I you know honestly this is one of my favorite parts. Joy. Going, going out, saying no. Light, 
light side, I think. Don't want to get too busy, but I do want to take my skin texture brush here. Add in, add in a little texture, right? Sort of help these things look organic. It's um, a little less overpainted. There we go. That'll do. Making that good. It's on the face bit, right? Really like. That's really, I do appreciate that. Um, okay, so next we're gonna, we're gonna go back down to that chubby brush friend. Chubby brush friend. This. Interesting. It seems like uh, some of this this actually is shifting a little too much to white, um, but that's okay. Uh, what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna combat that. Let's look for, for a metal texture first of all. That's that's what we're. I think what I'm just gonna avoid doing of anything for the gold part just because I don't want to tarnish, tarnish the color that I have going on. I think we're just going to leave that, leave the gold as it is. Uh, and oh, towards, um, let's see, not chaos. Here I have some basic texture brushes somewhere. This can't seem to fit texture. Yeah, it's texture. Let's try some more brushes, right? Let's try try some more new things. Yeah, right now basically all we're doing with this layer is just coming in and we're pushing those brights just a little. Not too much, don't want to go too crazy. We do wanna we do wanna get get it out there. Right? Like we do want a, a clear, defined light and dark. That is crucial. Yeah. It's weird. Not on talent. Do you feel like some people never be able to draw decently? Uh, in Maybe. I don't know. It's an as goal that everyone can learn to do. Um. So talent, huh. I I have a I have a <laughs> I have a very strong opinion uh, on like talent. Uh, talent does exist. Uh, there are definitely people in this world who have uh, predispositions to things uh, that make them that make them uh, a better candidate for learning something or uh, give them gives them an easier time uh, to pick. Uh, um, whenever it comes to like, picking something up, right? Now, I don't believe um, that you have to be talented to... Uh, uh, that you have to be talented to be an artist, right? Like, as a matter of fact, I would argue that 
being talented would make you an inferior artist, make you less good at it. Um, and instead what you want is you want skill. Uh, and skill, anybody can learn a skill. Uh, do I think that anybody can learn how to draw? Probably. Uh, it's to what extent, right? It, it really, uh, the, at that point, it becomes uh, the line uh, sort of blurs until uh, until we figure out like where we're happy, right? So, like, if um, can can anyone learn how to draw? Yes. Uh, can you can you learn how to draw uh, to the level that you desire? I I don't personally know. I think. I think probably. Um, I, I I would like to believe that uh, anyone can apply themselves uh, to just about anything, and as long as they have the tools at their disposal and the ability to learn the uh, to information that they want, then they can. Uh, then then they should be able to get what they want out of it. That being said, I don't know. Um, I'm not. I'm not super. Uh, I, I'm not super qualified to answer, uh, to like speak on that. But I do think I do personally get really annoyed whenever someone calls me talented, because I'm very much not talented. Uh, I've worked very hard uh, to get the little bit that I currently have. Uh, whenever it comes to my artistic skill, uh, and so whenever someone tells me that I'm talented, I feel like that sort of discredits uh, the several thousand hours I've put into trying to figure out how art works. And uh, that's that's less cool. Not super, super a fan of that, you know? Oh no, we're not going to do that. We're going to do this instead. Actually, Yeah, this is this is just turning up. I'm uh, super not okay. like I I think it's okay on my screen, but when you get it on the on the big screen, it's not super duper pleased with it. But admittedly, we're still like really early in the process, right? Like we haven't even begun to render. So who the fuck knows where uh, where that's gonna put us? You know, two to three hours. Um, not that I'll be streaming for two to three hours. But, um. You know, whenever I whenever I get to that point. Okay. So now we've got most of our stuff. Actually, and I just want to look at it out the uh out the dark and light saturation, just because I'm a little curious. You know, I wanna know. I want to know what we're actually getting from, it, if anything. And it seems like we're getting stuff, but I, I don't know if I it. I don't know. I think we'll. You know what? I think we'll just drop the opacity a little bit because I do like the depth in some of the areas, but I don't like uh, uh, super in the other stuff. So go ahead and draw the background just to see where we're at. Colors. We're doing okay. Uh things are things are a little muddy, things are a little Okay. Alright, um how do we address this? This is this is this is we're at a at one of my usual one of my usual stopping points. This is normally to uh, take a little time, assess the piece, and try and figure out, you know, where do you want to go there? Uh, what, do you, what do you want with the piece? This one, things are things are really undefined. This piece, which is me. 
but also there are there are plenty of things that I think are working kind of uh, technically in a sense, but I'm not positive where I want to go. I think what we're gonna do, I think we're just gonna go ahead and say screw it, and we're just gonna start doing some rendering, doing getting into our, our paint over. I'm just gonna see where it does. Yeah, yeah, I think that's probably the best idea. We're gonna leave it like this. We're Keep the background, um, and then we're just gonna, yeah, we're just gonna start getting in there, getting in some detail. Let's go ahead and let's create an here of just everything, <clears throat> and um, how do we want to start? How do I want to start? Uh, you know what? I know exactly how. I want to start. Uh, render a few pouches. Okay, so let's go ahead. Under some pouches, all right, so we're just going to come and uh, this thing we're going to do, just going to a shape, right? Big deal, just a real simple shape, right? Now, we've got our shape to curve. Perfect. So now, from this, what we're going to do, we're just going to create another. Uh, We're going to try and to state. All right. So let's put a clipping mask. Boop. Go ahead. Hard edge brush for the shift up because I think I don't want, uh, I, I don't want any colors. Uh, any colors darker than the base color we have in this piece, uh, in for for this item. Just gonna simple. And we're gonna we this is this is gonna take me quite a quite a bit of time. So we're not really looking finishing this super quick. This isn't uh, this isn't going to be as quick as say the redraw last stream. This is going to be a little sense zooming. Uh, it's, I don't know. We're because we're we're doing exploration, right? Like this is an exploratory piece. Exploratory pieces we want. So I'm gonna do here. Come down. I'm just gonna things. Out. Try and help. The yes, this is a pouch piece. Or yes, this is a pouch aesthetic. Careful. It's okay to hit the undo if we stake. There we go. Okay, so I feel like that's a pretty decent pouch giving our angle, at least for a base. So, what we're going to do now, big thing. It's a little the thing is it's gonna get shrunk it doesn't need failed. This thing we want it's been Forever in a day. This pouch. Having it uh, be down to where it 
see the detail. It's gonna and just a late pull. Take a softer, but we're not gonna take our. Okay, so now we have this little pouch. Let's go ahead. I'm gonna flip it horizontal. See how it looks. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate it, and we are start thing and transform it a little bit. Fit. The idea in so like I want something thick it, it looks heavy but it needs to not be too big so I that was really simple excuse me let's go ahead Get this. Edit. Okay. Right there. Now, this is super generic. Now, in a little bit, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to these. Make them a bit more. Okay, now I also want to use a few more patients. There also has which is chest. Sounds this is World of Warcraft armor. Practicality, second, and cool. Okay. Get those. Edit. Transform. There's over here. Look at that. Now we've got like in pouches. And. these layers uh, 
Okay. Reduced. Bags are okay, so yeah, they look weird. That's a bit of a here. Spec. Screwed that. Edit. It's cute. Oh, okay, I get it. Yeah, that's useful. So, anyway, got these feel acceptable. These are also going to get based away. Uh, yeah, so get to good stopping. Let's go ahead and do belting for these and then let a neat stream so, just gonna And this is gonna be another one of those things that get uh get dropped down in a way. Um this up. These are gonna go shoulder pad, but not under the shoulder pad right now. So Belt holes? So, so I can... Stuff. Yeah, okay. Do okay. 
form. Get wind. Get this layer. The ribbon. Be dumb. Yep. Give it a shot. And hold it. Just screw it. Now, let's go ahead. away should get like pouches or semi pretty aid ability for Never know. I know what happens whenever you try something new. Slow down. Assistant, slow down. You're just on learning. It's good. Learning. Okay. Fill out. This way. It's time. Actual rent. All of these things are still uh, blind. to action pretty all right yeah yeah screw it yeah that seems that seems work obviously we want to put jading and stuff a little bit later i think for now call it i'm gonna go ahead and take a take a little bit of a break. so thanks so much for stopping by keeping me Super nice. Uh, yeah, everybody have a good night.